We, doctor, we touched on this a little bit before we started, but if somebody has a, a condition, how would they know whether or not it's related to uh, maybe fluoride toxicity? You know, that's a, a really tough question. And, and the, the answer is, I don't know. The reason I say that is because in the 30 years I practiced, I had a number of people come in and they'd say, well, you know, I have this problem or I have that problem. And I would tell them the same thing I just told you. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And we, they, if they wanted to, we took their mercury fillings out. And lots of them got well. And stuff that I didn't realize it was connected. And it got well. And the reason is dentists can only poison patients. And once they become poisoned, they need to send them off to a doctor to find out what poisoned them. But if you want your mercury fillings out, you have to do it carefully because you can get more poisoned if they're removed poorly. And that's because there's lots of mercury in there. If you grind it up and have them inhale it, it'll actually make the systems worse. And if you had a second, I'll tell you a story about uh, yeah. one, the, one of the first mercury free dentists in the world was Olympio Pinto Sr. And uh, he, uh, his father uh, got kind of a reputation down in Brazil of being sort of a healer because he would take the mercury fillings out and a lot of the symptoms would go away of the gold miners, the Arsenio mm -hmm. gold miners out in the Amazon. And this is the 1920s. He read Alfred Stock's paper from 26, stopped using mercury and began to take it out. By 29, he was pretty well famous. And a guy came over, a, a, a lady came over to his clinic and said, uh, you know, I thought her daughter might have mercury poisoning. And uh, he says, well, I'm a dentist. I, I, I wouldn't be able to say if she did or didn't. And he said, well, she said, come look at her. And so they walked the 10 miles to the other village, and, and he looked at her and says, yeah, it could be. She was light sensitive. She, she was curled up in the fetal position, she, you know, like Minamata. Their hands were all curled mm -hmm. up, and she was salivating. And he said, well, I, I, if, if she is mercury poison, it's the worst case I've ever seen. But, you know, she might be. I don't know. And, uh, and so the, the next day, that the, the husband showed up at his clinic, and he said, uh, my wife said, you said my daughter was mercury poison. He said, no, I didn't say that. He said, I didn't say that at all. I said, she could be. And he says, well, you can take her fillings out, but if she dies, I'll kill you. <laughs> and so he and his son went back to the village, and, and uh, they, they didn't have any vacuum. They didn't have any suction. They had nothing. They just had a pedal drill, and he and his son carried the pedal drill over there to grind the old filling out. He packed his mouth with gauze, and then they ground the filling out and put a temporary in and, and then went back. And the next day, he was kind of curious as how the girl was doing. So he sent his son back, and, and uh, little Olympio was the guy that told me the story because he said he ran all the way home crying because he knew Dad was going to get killed. And he got home, and he said, Dad, she's worse. And he says, oh, good. Then it is the mercury. If it hadn't been the mercury, it wouldn't have bothered her. And mm -hmm. so they took all of her fillings out. She completely recovered, got married, had children. So how huh. do you know? You, yeah. you know, if, if you're taking one out, it makes you worse. I suppose you know that. Probably not a good mm -hmm. idea to take a lot of them out at once. Yeah. In your research, what have you seen uh, conditions related to mercury? Well, one of the first cases that, that really got my attention was a lady that asked me to make her teeth white. You know, and, and I said, yeah, I know how to do that. And I took all the little black fillings out and put in white ones. And she thanked me profusely uh, because her multiple sclerosis went away. And I said, Rose, you didn't tell me you had multiple sclerosis. She said, well, that makes people nervous. And um, she's now well into her 80s, and uh, that was uh, 40 years ago. So uh, mm. neurological diseases, mm -hmm. the, um, even the head nod. You know, I had a dentist friend of mine. I had to get him to quit using mercury because he, he had an eye that would twitch. Mm -hmm. And he said, oh, that's done that forever. And I said, when would you have your first mercury filling? He's eight years old. I said, it's the mercury. It, it twitches, uh, involuntary movement, tremor. Uh, the, what mercury does, it poisons the nervous system of the body. So you end up with forgetfulness, you, you, memory loss, uh, 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 irrational behavior. A uh, uh, dentist went across the street to the coffee shop the other day, and he goes in and orders him a, a coffee, and he goes, Oh, I left my wallet. Must be the mercury. He's not kidding. <laughs> he doesn't know sure where he was. So. It, the, it, Mercury is a perfect nerve poison. Uh, there's a, a video on the, on the internet, uh, part of a scientific study called How Mercury Causes Neurodegeneration. And what it does, the nerve grows out, which is like the wire inside electricity. Mm -hmm. And then another product goes along, it's called tubulin. And it's, a, it's the insulation. And 
it grows around the wire so that the wire is insulated. Well, the way that tubulin knows to hook together is sulfur-sulfur bonds. And so mercury loves sulfur, so it sets itself right in here and the tubulin falls off. So the wiring in your body ends up demyelinated or uninsulated, and mm -hmm. so you end up with shorts, like Alzheimer's disease. The, okay. the brain has neurofibrillary tangles. The, the, the nerves are there, but there's no insulation on them, so they all tangle up. You can actually even measure the mercury in the Alzheimer's brain, it's high, and you measure the mercury in the tubulin, it's high. It's abnormal tubulin. It's tubulin that has been denuded from the nerve with mercury. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a perfect poison for mankind's mm -hmm. brain.